welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a combo deck built around uh, this new card Lazav Familiar Stranger as well as the other Lazav and I'm calling this deck, deck 8 Lazav's combo. Um, the new Lazav is a 3 mana 1-4 and it says whenever you commit a crime put a plus on plus on counter on it then you can exile a card from a graveyard. If a creature card is exiled where you may have it become a copy of that card until on turn and it triggers once a turn. Um, so, the think about both Lazavs. The other Lazav is a 2-mana two 2-3, two, and when it attacks, exiles a card from a graveyard, you investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, you can have it become a copy of a creature exiled. So they both do pretty similar things. They exile a creature from a graveyard and then become a copy of it um, until end of turn, essentially. Uh, what creature did I think about? Do I want to um, become copies of? Well... Gishoth I thought would probably be the best one uh, because if you could uh, play this on turn three and commit a crime right away which you can with Tiny Bones joins up and you had a Gishoth in the yard you could immediately make it become a copy of it and it would be a 8-7 um, Vigilance Trample Haste attack trigger uh, Gishoth says when it deals combat damage to a player reveal that many cards from the top of your library put any number of dinosaur creature cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest in the bottom of your library. Um, and so I thought, well, let's put some giant Galtas into play on turn three, uh, ideally. And you can kind of do the same thing with this Lazav if you um, discarded the Gishoth um, or it got milled, you can attack and exile it um, and crack the clue and on turn three and attack with Gishoth. And, and get the trigger and hopefully hit uh, either of these giant Galtos and put them into play on turn three. Uh, the backup giant creature we have is Conspiracy Unraveler um, because you're kind of milling yourself or discarding cards. And um, if you have evidence, if you turn one of your Lazavs into a Conspiracy Unraveler, it would let you cast any of these other big creatures from your hand. That's the idea of the Conspiracy Unraveler. Um, and... So because you only get to become the creature for one turn, um, just having a Conspiracy Unraveler for one turn can sometimes be good enough just to put these other big ones into play. So, um, and you can also kind of hard cast this if the game goes very late um, in this deck. The other cards we have are, uh, so we've got the Tiny Bones joins up, which is really important to the deck because it lets you discard a card yourself. It lets you mill yourself if you need to and mill your opponent and it commits crimes, which is important for this Lazav. We also have Liliana the Veil, which both discards cards and helps you put your big guys into the yard and also can target your opponent to commit a crime to have them uh, sacrifice a creature. And Bitter Triumph does the same thing. It will help you discard your Gishoth or whichever big guy you are putting into the yard and then um, also can commit a crime for this Lazav. Um, also have two of a Sheldred's Restoration kind of as a backup plan. If they, uh, if you play your Lazavs and they kill them, um, but you, you know, have used any of your discard spells to um, put these in the yard, you can bring them back on turn four and just, you know, swing with Gashoth if you have that or the Conspiracy Unraveler and use that to cast the other ones in your hand. Uh, there's a one of Jace as well, because this um, can commit crimes as well as mill yourself or mill your opponent, which is useful. Um, for this Lazav and mana base is pretty straightforward. There is some, um, um, you know, Takanuma is useful, can mill you. The Restless Reef is useful because it can commit crimes, but also um, mill the opponent or mill yourself if you need to. Uh, and then Surveil is great because that can fill up your graveyard. Um, if you have one of these on top, definitely put that. And also the one of from Mori Vault, which lets you um, put. Uh, any big guy from your hand into the graveyard if you need it to be in the graveyard, which can be useful as well. Other thing to note is that if you have both Lazavs out, this Lazav can commit a crime by exiling a card from your opponent's graveyard, um, so that can trigger this other Lazav. So a lot of synergy between the two Lazavs. So eight Lazav combo. Let's jump into some games, see if we can uh, get some wins in standard. All right, eight Lazav combo here. Uh, this hand looks fine. Let's 
see. We will lead with this restless reef. It is kind of unfortunately untapped, but we will lead with Okay, there's a land. This is still fine. Let's just go here. No, I need another land now. But we can go Lazav and then play the Tiny Bones to uh, discard our Gishoth. So if they don't have any removal, then it's going to be a sweet hand, but they do have removal. That is unfortunate, and we will probably lose. <laughs> we'll see. Don't hurt our Lazav. Oh, nice spirited companion, okay. Draw a card. Alright, okay. Good, good. Pack for three, no blocks. Alright, we're gonna get in the swing here with the uh, resolve. So, start by Tiny Bones. Each of us discards, yes. Discard Gishoth. No turn three. Ishoth. Let's see if that's good enough. <laughs> oh, and it's like, what the WTF? <laughs> Making him discard. And then hope to hit uh, a dinosaur. Uh, the other Galta would be amazing, because then we could put this Galta into play. Um... But we'll see. Discard our exile here. And then crack the clue. Doesn't really matter if they block or not. Gonna do this regardless, so. Okay, do a land. Alright, it's gonna take the full seven. Oh, okay, we'll take it. Galta. And uh, mill them. Do I want to mill myself for any reason? To try to hit something else for next turn? No, I'll just mill, mill them. Hopefully, this uh, combo is enough to win, but. We'll see. Milling them gives them this commie in the graveyard, but one is probably very confused as to why there is a Galta in play on turn three, <laughs> and they just got hit by <laughs> Kshoth on turn three. Oh man, we can. So we have an Ottawara up to bounce something too, if we need to. They try to leave something back on defense, but I imagine they just concede here because. Uh, yeah, you can. Just, I can just keep turning it into a shot every turn, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. Good game. That was a good one. All right, Lazav Reanimator. This hand is hmm. Okay, I guess. Sort of like a turn three Lazav. Turn four. Discard. Shaw, that'd be okay. Let's see what else. We'll need one more land to make that happen. And then to have a creature. But uh, it's decent. Okay, there's a creature. Alright. And Let's 
let's see, we need a one or two more lands here. Okay, all, oops, all underground rivers, apparently. So, let's see, depending on what they do, we may just hold the Bitter Triumph until after the Little Zav. They play something very threatening. Ooh, like that. Hmm, kind of depends <clears throat> on what we do. If we draw another way to... to um, like this is going to eat our graveyard. <clears throat> I think it's worth it. I'll just go for it here. And ditch the Shoth here. Save us some life. Okay. Play out one of the Lazavs. And we need a way to commit a crime or just another land would be fine as well. Okay, our best forge is fine. Let's see if we can hit the land off top or a way to commit a crime off top. Both of those would be what we need to make this work. No attacks. Alright, there's a crime. Crime enabler. Um, okay, that's pretty good. And then probably gonna target myself here because there's no really reason to have this Galta in my hand. Uh, with this, we are going to choose Gishoth. Yes. I'm going to discard this Galta, because it does nothing in our hand, really. And could benefit us by being in the graveyard. And then swing for eight. And <clears throat> hope to hit the dinosaur off the top of seven here. Although, <clears throat> oh, there's a real one. I'll play, play and keep the real one here. And mill them. I don't know if we need to mill ourselves. I think the one life loss isn't quite worth it. But we do have a giant dinosaur here. Oh, that's a recruiter. Very nice combo. I could swing for some amount of damage here. And then <laughs> another good shot. Okay, so we can play out the Lazav. It'll trigger <clears throat> this and we can make it into a Galta. Uh, we'll not have Trample. Let's see what else we could return it into. Oh, a blood letter? Okay, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, I guess they give up. That was going to be cool. So let me just explain that a little bit. Well, I was going to play the Lazav, trigger the tiny bones, mill them, and then it can become a <clears throat> copy of any creature in the graveyard. I would copy their blood letter, double all the damage, and then this would be a 14 uh, swing. So. GG. All right. Zav combo on the play. Uh, this looks fine. And I need something to. Two underground rivers. To reanimate here. Um, let's cast this because we have another one. So might as well just. Uh, nothing we want to discard ourselves. But uh, make them discard. against some black esper something something um we will save this tiny bones trigger the lazavs if we need to do it that way hold up the bitter triumph Ooh, tap land 
unfortunate, but it might help us hit something to reanimate, so uh, I don't really need uh, restoration. And again, nothing we really want to discard, so we'll hold it for now. Possible we hit something in their graveyard, too. Nope, nothing. All right, so they may be holding up a counter spell, which is fine. So maybe just play out this Lazav since we have the Lazav flooded. Might as well see what they got. No. Nope. Uh, I'm going to target myself here. Yep. Just because it's a possibility of milling something useful. Although the ability goes on the stack first. I wonder if you can change order there. Uh, I don't think I, uh, it's a creature. No, I can't <coughs> copy anything else. So, all right, not going to copy anything, but. Is going to get the counter. <clears throat> I'm going to mill us one. And was off. Okay, and uh, depopulate. Interesting. Alright. End turn. Fourth land for the opponent. I'm gonna fire up the anchorage. Interesting. Alright, not what I expected, but alright, there's a Galta we can We can reanimate. Might as well resolve this Liliana, huh? Seems good. And those who get in my way tend to regret it. We could Ditch the Galta and then play another Tiny Bones attack for a lot of damage. Sure. I'll see why not. You won't be outsmarting me. Might as well. Do it while they're tapped out. Make them discard. Let's keep one of them. Nothing we want to discard, though. Let's go there, and then... Might as well... Get in an attack for, what, 15? 14? Down to 5. Will it be enough? So we need to, well, we have some ways of removing. If they play like a, a Shelly or something, that would be nice. No, I'm just going to fire up the Anchorage still. Going after Liliana. Not touch me again. Ooh. So do we have a way of getting this in the grave? I mean, we can plus this, but then... We can't target them. Oh yeah, we can. With with playing another Lazav, we'll we'll do it actually, because that will trigger the uh, <laughs> we all have things we'd rather avoid. the tiny bones. Kind of funny actually, but yeah, that will work. So play this Lazav, keep this one, trigger this, and that will trigger a crime, and then. Another Galta. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Sure. GG. Alright, Lazav's combo. This hand. Um, it's got a way to discard, it's got a way to get these things back, so I guess I'll keep. Maybe need some more land here, but. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. 
Oh, oh spear, everyone's favorite. Okay. There's the tiny bones, so hmm. Question is, do we want to use that tiny bones to probably best to hold up removal here? Use the tiny bones to commit a crime and then play the Lazav. So if we did this and we discarded, yeah, we wouldn't have enough. So do I'm thinking about turning it into the conspiracy unraveler to get the Galta in play, but um, yeah, just go there. See what he does with that target there. Um, yeah, let's remove it. Discarding the conspiracy unraveler. Okay, land, tap land, that's okay here. Um, we'll play this. We're gonna need 10 evidence. So we're gonna discard this Galta and then hope to next turn play Lazav. Turn it into. I'm gonna need. Turn it into this. We'll only have nine evidence, so we need to hit one more piece of evidence here. It's a little awkward. But. This is basically what you got it, what we have to do. Um. Turning it into a Galta doesn't do anything. So, here we go. Yes. We did it. Cast it. And 10 exactly. Alright. Got the Galta, and then... I guess we can mill them. I don't think it's worth milling ourselves. Anymore. Play the land, sure. Alright, we've got the Galta in play. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but <laughs> we kind of did the thing. <laughs> Let's see what they got. Well, they can fly over if they have two permanents here, but this does stop them from attacking. And this can give us, what, a, a lifelink vampire? Yeah, so that's something. Okay, there's the flying I was afraid of. I can swing for five. But this can give us, and then it could also give us, so this is 12 plus four. Mm, if we attack, if we, have, if we draw a land, we can fire up our land on our turn too. Let's see. Uh, that doesn't do anything, does it? I don't think so. Um, it's unfortunate. Yeah, so if we attack with both, we can get a, a life-linking vampire on defense. So I think that's our best bet, because this is 14. could be 16, but... Um, Just have to hope they don't have anything that would kill us on backswing. They probably do, but otherwise this Galta will will get them next turn. Yep. Let's see. That's one permanent, and then let's see. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. They need something else here. That's all they have. We're okay. And let us block. Okay. Well, we'll 
block the Godric. And, I mean, if they have the, uh, the rage, they probably should have done it before attacking anyways, but fine. But, play with fire. Okay. So, let's see. Let's get five. And then I go up to six and take exactly six. Man, close one. GG. Alright, Lazav combo. This hand is fine, I suppose. Just need a way to get this Conspiracy Unraveler back. Um, let's just lead on tap land here. This goes to the grave. And there's another Tiny Bones joins up. Hmm. Well, let's play one of them. Hmm, I think we're just going to hold this Conspiracy Unraveler because we'll use it to discard to Liliana most likely. And then we'll hold the other Tiny Bones as well just to use to maybe commit a crime if we need that. A lot of tiny bones. Okay, um, so Liliana. And then tick up. What do we want to discard? The other Liliana. I feel like the Unraveler, most likely. I'm not going to hard cast it. But we may draw something to get it back. Okay. Okay, we need a land here. We've got a trailblazer. Sure. Um, hmm. Okay, I want to keep ticking up. And I don't think maybe just the other tiny bones can go. We want to play this other one. Just to make them discard a card. Maybe we'll wait again on it. I'm not sure if that matters right now. Well, the only thing I can think of that would matter... Um... We'll put more evidence in the graveyard. I think we're just going to hold it for now. Well... Hmm. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to do it. Change my mind. It's a close call, but I'm just going to make them discard. Oh, wow, the Vein Ripper. It's another one, okay. The other reason is just because of... Um, Liliana here. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so that is useful. We can get back Conspiracy Unraveler. And then that will be pretty good. Or Galta pretty good as well. Hmm. Do we want to probably want to make them Sacrifice one of their guys. I mean, the other play would be just Liliana, play another Liliana. But I think, I think this is probably the best. Here, and then we'll get back. If Grace and Raveler would let us play anything else we draw, Galta, on the other hand, would just give a a quick clock. We don't have any other creatures in play to use it, though. Um, I have a close call on this one, too. I feel like this may be better in case we draw something better, but this may close the game quicker. Yeah. And make the mill. 
it's too bad. Uh, we want to get Shaw through there. But really depends on what we're going to draw here, but hopefully this 12-12 will be enough. Oh, okay, there's the... Okay, so the Conspiracy Unraveler would have been better. Well, I guess that's enough. Yeah, so there we could have make them sacrifice both our guys. All right, welcome back to the wrap-up. This was a really fun one today. Um, the deck worked surprisingly better than I thought it would. I thought this would be pretty jank and, and not work very well, but I was able to kind of get off... Um, in one game, I was able to get a turn three Gishoth attack and put in a Galta, which was amazing. Um, yeah, it does some very powerful things. Like, the ceiling on this deck is pretty high um you know there's there's several draws where you can go turn one tiny bones discard gashoth turn three lissolve turn it into gashoth attack for eight on turn three put in another giant creature um and then you know the cards themselves tiny bones bitter triumph liliana these lissoffs they're actually you know decent cards on their own um you just kind of have to get the right draw that's kind of the tricky part is no know, knowing when to mulligan um, you kind of need three pieces. You need a way to kind of discard or put these guards in the graveyard, a way to get them back, and, um, you know, just kind of any reanimator deck. But these kind of reanimator pieces are a lot cheaper, typically, than, uh, you know, the four mana or five mana ones. So um, definitely some powerful stuff going on here. Let me know in the comments what you think about the deck. Maybe there's some creatures I missed that um, might be better than... Um, the Conspiracy Unraveler, I tried it out. It seemed pretty pretty okay. It was able to kind of cast out um, a Galta one turn, but um, maybe there's a different uh, creature that could be more useful uh, to kind of copy for a turn. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about the deck. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.